Hello loves. Right, I've seen a lot of talk in the comments sections of previous videos about how Etsy sales are slow for a lot of you. So I thought I'd do a quick video on that. It was going to be a video about setting up a mailing list, but I've decided to scrap that and go with this instead today. So if sales are slow for you at the moment, don't panic. I'm going to explain why that might be now. And I'm also going to give you some tips on what you can do to keep sales ticking over. Right then, so welcome to the channel. First off, if you're new here, I'm Kim and this is the Eco Tree. I talk about sustainable living <laughs> and um, running your own handmade business on this channel. I laughed at the sustainable living bit because I haven't done a video on anything sustainable for quite some time, which I need to fix, but I've just got interrupted by a car. I've got so much to say about running a handmade business and I just haven't shut up about it really. If you're here, I'm guessing it's because you have an Etsy shop and you've noticed that sales are slow at the moment. Why is that? It's because that this time of year is traditionally slow, full stop. Spring and summer is traditionally a very slow time on Etsy. If you started your shop in the last year, 2020 was insane. I read somewhere that it was the biggest, busiest and most successful year that Etsy has ever had to date and it's been going at the time of recording this for about 16 years so that's quite a year. If you started your shop in the middle of that this is going to be quite a frightening experience for you because you've ex you've started at this level and that's your normal and so for it to see it go it's going to panic anyone so don't feel ashamed for, for that, but also know that it's normal. In fact, I'm willing to bet that we're going to see a quieter than normal quiet period this year. Obviously, last year was, <laughs> it was last year. That's, let's just leave it there. We were all cooped up. We couldn't go shopping. We all turned to online shopping. So there's all of that, all of that busyness. And of course, now we're dealing with the aftermath of that. People can go out again. <gasps> Do you remember that? going out, people. But that in itself is a novelty. So we are no longer indoors looking at our screens. We're returning to high street stores because do you remember those? That naturally means that if you have an online store, you're going to see a decrease in sales there. Coupled with the fact that it's traditionally a very quiet time anyway, and you have a super quiet time. I don't know why I went so high pitched. This is not you. It's nothing you've done wrong. It's just the way Etsy is. You might be in a niche that does really well at this time of year. And if that's the case, then this video probably isn't going to be too helpful for you. This video is for those of us that have quiet periods during like spring and summer. Okay, so how can you keep your shop active and ticking over during these quiet times? Well, I'll tell you right after this ad break because my Etsy shop is closed and I have bills to pay. Number one, stay active because Etsy loves activity. And if you go quiet and just neglect your shop, I don't know, for maybe a year, <laughs> who'd do that? It's going to hurt you a little bit with regards to the algorithm. The algorithm likes relevant, recent, active shops. So stay active. I'm not sure if Etsy count listing a new item or renewing an item as activity but other things that you can do is that you can tweak a listing you can um, update your thumbnail your descriptions you can add shop updates that's probably the easiest thing to do shop announcements you can give your policies a, work, a look over which i'll come to in a minute but basically just keep on showing up even if you think no one's there you need to make sure that when customers come to your shop they see it as a hive of activity and not a shop that's been neglected because that will put shoppers off so when it picks up and it will you want to make sure you're ready number two link to that is stay active on your other platforms so for example, if you've got your social media platforms linked to your Etsy shop, make sure that you're active there too and showing up and just being there because there is nothing worse than finding a shop that you love, not seeing so much activity on it, clicking on a social media link and seeing that the last time they posted was four or five months ago. It doesn't really make you trust the shop or maybe want to buy from them. You want to buy from someone who's there. So if number one was stay active in your shop, 
Number two is stay active on your social media channels as well. Now this one might seem a bit boring, but every shop needs to do this occasionally and now is the perfect time to do it. Give your shop a spring clean. Have a look at everything. Have a look at your policies. Make sure they're tight. Your delivery dates and charges. Give them a quick research. It's good practice to make sure that all of that is up to date you can make sure that your messages to customers are up to date. You know, the automated ones that they get when they make a purchase or when a sale is posted out. You can make sure that they're up to date. Your shop announcements, make sure all of your attributes are completed. And maybe you could even experiment with a thumbnail. You could just try switching the photographs that you've got already around. Or you could take a brand new one and just see if it increases traffic this is the perfect time to do all of that so although it is boring look at your shop and just go through each and every section and make sure that it's all perfect and of course for sales you can hold a sale <laughs> this is why you'll often see on the high street spring sales and summer sales it's because again a traditionally quiet time of year so you'll even see it in the high street that they're trying to invite customers in with sales your sale might be a percentage off the cost price. It could be free delivery. I do this sometimes domestically, or it could be a coupon or some other kind of promotion, or you could add a freebie with something and promote that as well. Now is a good time to hold a promotion or a short sale just to sort of try and boost some traffic and some sales into your shop. And lastly, plan for the busier months ahead. Trust me, you'll be glad. Now I touched on this with the shop audit because that's part of it, making sure that your foundation blocks are in place, reviewing your stock, your packaging, all of those little admin -y bits that you've been putting off, now is a great time to work on those and get them out of the way. I'm sure there will be things that you probably know that you should do right now, but you won't want to because they're boring, taxes, but they have to be done. Filing, paperwork, all of that, now is a great, time to do it. And I'm speaking from experience, if you don't do it, you're going to regret it. I'm, I'm smiling because I'm sure a lot of you are going to be like, yeah, 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 Kim, whatever, okay, and you're not going to do it. But <laughs> you'll think of this months down the line when you're busy and you don't have the time to do it, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I'd, I wish I'd listened to Kim, I wish I'd done it back then. Listen to me. Actually, don't, because I'll probably ignore my own advice too. This is one of the biggest lessons I've learned from running your own business. It's all very well knowing what you should do, but doing it, that's hard. So yes, do as I say, not as I do. So those are the five things. Stay active on your shop. Stay active on your other platforms. Spring clean your shop. What was the fourth? <laughs> Have a sale or some kind of promotion and get ready for the busier months ahead because I promise you, although it's quiet now, busier times will come again. Just know that this is part of owning an Etsy shop help, owning a handmade business. There are peaks and troughs. Some of you might not be finding it quiet at all. And if that is you, then I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're taking time for yourself. And regardless of where you are on your Etsy handmade business journey, I wish you the best of luck. All right, my loves, I hope that has helped a little bit. And that's it from me. I will see you next week. Ta-ra.